8 hours ago, Genshin Impact has released a character demo for Chlorine. So, I will be reacting to this in English version and Japanese version. And then, I will check out the, the English voice actress and Japanese voice actress other notable roles. Right, so... Without further ado, let's check out Chlorine's character demo in English Japanese. I'm sorry, in English version first. <laughs> oh. One of them, then be teacher. Calculate distance. Correct for wind speed and humidity. Ready. <laughs> oh! Bear trap! <laughs> Bear trap! Next breathing cycle. Fire a non lethal shot. What? <laughs> Damn the music though. And whenever I see bear trap, it, it reminds me of the days when I when of uh, me playing Resident Evil 4. Those annoying ass bear traps. Damn, she's fast for though. So. I see you. I see you. What you did there? Back up? Uh oh. These are my hunting grounds. Struggle all you want. I always catch my prey in the end. What is this? Where evil lurks. Shoot on sight. Damn, she's fast as heck, boy. And this is going in hard. I owe my skills to the Marashose hunters who fought to bring Fontaine out of a dark age. Someone needs to keep them sharp at all times. The hunt is complete. Very good trailer. Very good character demo trailer. I will see this. And I must say that Lorene is fast as heck boy. And for that one brief moment, right, she literally pulled um the fl a, a flash moment right over there, man. Like holy crap. She's fast as F boy. Holy moly. Very good. Very good trailer, I will say this. Alright, you know what? Let's watch that trailer one more time. But in Japanese version. So let me look for that stuff first. Let me, let me look for the Japanese version of the trailer. All right. Let's check out Chlorine's Japanese version of her character demo. Use this wing in ham, I will say this. Again, Oyobus, I see what you did there. I see what you did there.
This yeah, this moment right over here, right? It reminds me of the one move in Bleach. Was it Shunpo or was it Senko? I forgot. It's been ages since the last time I watched Bleach, okay? The hunt is complete. That's such a badass line, man. I will say this. I will admit, Lorene's character demo looks very interesting. Very cool, very badass to top it off. I will say this, for those of you who does not own an Electro main DPS in your Genshin account, from the perspective of a free to play player, if you guys don't have an Electro main DPS, yes, you can go ahead and pull for Korean because loading is sexy and she's fast AF, but if you're a F2P player and if you're already own uh electro main dps like me in which in my case i already have i already said the rider show good as my main electro dps character and as a matter of fact right i'm i'm not i'm not shitting you i have rider show good as c6 so to me i don't see any reason for me to pull for another electro main dps but and as a matter of fact, right, as of this very moment, I don't have any extra resources for me to pull for Chlorine. And considering the fact that Netlin will be out sometime later in the future, I believe around um, August or September, that's, I believe that's when uh, 5.0 drops, I would rather use those extra resources and pull for the Pyro Archon. I'll be brief with you guys. This is coming from the perspective of a free to play player who already owns a Electro Main DPS. So, as I was saying, if you do not own an Electro Main DPS, yes, you can go ahead on uh, for it. Otherwise, if you have the free extra resources to pull for Chlorine as well, go ahead, do it. If you have the extra resources, go ahead and do it. Otherwise, don't. Because I'll be really with you guys, you might need those extra resources to pull for the Pyro Archon. And this is what every this is to this is a message to every single free to play players by the way. Wait, those who have who are willing to spend money on this game, who want to go on on going, yes, go ahead, go ahead, spend your money, um, spend your money on Genshin and go ahead and pull for for it while I fucking care. Because if you really want the character. Go ahead and move on. Otherwise, don't. That's what I'm saying. But right, let's let me let's check out um the Japanese voice actress other notable roles. So as you can see, um this is Ishikawa Yui-san, who is most notable for being the voice of Mikasa Ak uh, Akaman from Shinkeki no Kyojin, aka Attack on Titan. But other than that, um she is also Violet Evergarden from Violet Evergarden. I really should check out the movie though because I only watched the TV series. Didn't have the opportunity to check out the movie, but I heard it's good. Um He is Yoruba Nigo Bigata from Mia Automata. Never played any game, but I I believe this is one of uh, another one of her notable roles as well, from my understand. Um, Zayui Sakuya, my dear Mrs. She's Enterprise from Azure Lane. Um, let me scroll a little bit longer. You know. Uh, Zelia from Seiken Gakui no Makuen Makin Sky. What's the English title? Attempt. Um, any other notable roles? Let me have a look. Um, she is Takasago Tomoe from Ero Manga Sensei. 
Alright, she's the the female main character in Fate Extra. Um, Shinami Hakuna from Fate Extra Last and Call. Um, Mikimi Shigure from Owari no Seraph, or the English title is Seraph of the End. Uh, this comes from Ark Knights. Let's go down a little bit more. Ah, oh, right, she's um, Kosaka China from Gundam Build Fight in the uh, Gundam Build Fighters series. Um, Shinjo Hinaki from Aikatsu. Let's go a little bit lower. I think. Uh, <laughs> they even credited her. Her, her role as um, Glory in in the in this TV, interesting. Uh, what is this? Seke Q N T four two o one. Red blood cell from Hataraku Saibo, I mean. Um, uh, she's me from Undead Unlocked. And I think all of these are her minor roles, which I think. I don't think I'm gonna bother going through it. Nah, uh, yeah, all of these are pretty much minor roles. So, long story short, um, Ichikawa Gizan, most notable for being the voice of Mikasa Akuman from Attack on Titan, aka Shigeki no Kyoji, um, Violet Evergarden from Violet Evergarden, and to be from Mia Automata. As I was saying, Glory, she's sexy and she's fast, and she's definitely an electro main DPS without a shadow of a doubt. And I will say this once again if you guys want to pull for her, go right ahead, especially for those who do not own an electro main DPS character, but if you do own an Electro main, de main DPS character, especially to those um, free to play players out there, I would not recommend pulling for her unless you have a lot of extra resources. That's all I'm saying. Because I'll be real with you guys, I already have an Electro main DPS um, in my Genshin account, which is Raiden Shogun. And as a matter of fact, I already have it at C6, so personally, I don't see any reason why I should pull for Chlorine. And I don't, I don't have that much, um, that many Primo gems or resources to spend on Chlorine's banner. As, as a matter of fact, and not, and to talk it off right, I would rather save up as many Primo gems or resources as possible for Deadland characters. Or maybe, uh, especially for the Pyro Archon. Unless in 4.8, because earlier on, Genshin's Twitter account has um, revealed a new Dendro character. So, apparently, three hours ago, Genshin has revealed a new character that will be available starting for 4.8, which is Emil. And based on her design, right, that reminds me of Misa's um, Sumeru outfit in a, in a way. And as a matter of fact, right, she's Dendro Element. So, my question is, will she be a main DPS? Or will or is she sub DPS or will she, will she be a support? Because I personally wanted a main DPS that is easier to use. I'm not gonna pull for item, I'm so sorry. Because from what I heard, a hidden is the best Dendro DPS, but he's too complicated to, to use. I'm sorry, Nasi. I hope Emil is a main DPS. I report. I mean, I do have Tainari. Um, he's my current main Dendro DPS as of, of this very moment. But he, he's he's um, power is kind of a lacking to be here. And I'm not, I'm not really uh, a bow character kind of guy. I, I, I I'm rather use a, uh, I'm more of a melee fighter rather than a rage character to be real. So, we'll see how it is. If not, I, I'm kind of curious how Emil's gameplay is. In the meantime, um, I don't think I'll be proving for Chlorine, but I will definitely check out her her kit with the, without a shadow or without. So, 
once version 4.7 drops in two days time, I will, I will at least check out her kit. But unfortunately, I won't be pulling for her because I already own an Electro Main DPS. So, again, if you guys want to pull for her, go ahead. If not, do not force yourself to pull for a character that you are not interested. Do not waste your Primo Gems or resources on a character that you have no intention of pulling. That's all I have to say about that. 